Law of the Bedroom number 119. Know when your honey's about to have an orgasm. Now, if she doesn't tell you outright, I just came, kiss me. Just look for some of these wonderful, sexy signs. And just a quick note, I remember I was on a break at a workshop once that my friend was conducting, non-relationship stuff. But I happened to be talking to some women about my book, Laws of the Bedroom. And they were like, oh, tell us about it. And I actually had a copy on me. So I whipped out this section specifically. I said, hey, we're on a break. Why don't I read to you out of the book what it's like when a woman goes through an orgasm? And they're like, yeah, uh uh-huh, sure. Yeah, you know what that's like. I'm like, watch this. And I just read it. And literally, it was like read in like a minute or two or something like that. Um, And they looked at each other like total bewilderment, total amazement, total, oh my gosh, I've had an orgasm, but not like that. Or I didn't know it was like that. Or you were spot on. So very interesting. You know, there's like three or four women there. And they totally vouched for that this is the deal. And of course, I've seen thousands of orgasms in my lifetime. So I know this is the real deal. So just look for some of these wonderful, sexy signs when your gal is about to have an orgasm. (gasps) When her body starts to shake, rattle, and roll. When her breathing starts to pick up. And yet she pauses for air in quick gasps to experience the pleasure even more intensely. When her nipples get mm, a little lickety hard and pointy, like erect pillars of suckling love, that beg to be kissed and given your loving lip and tongue's attention. When her face and body turn a blush red from all the blood pumping through her veins, rushing to the surface of her skin in hurried excitement. Watch her eyes roll back and her lips curl as she bites them. Then watch as her mouth opens in an open say, ah, like formation. When you start to hear her moan and groan, keep it up. Keep it going, guys. Don't stop. She's almost there. Keep on doing exactly what it is that you're doing to her. Don't break stride or deviate from the course. She's on her way. Towards the end, just listen for her scream, something like, Oh, yes, yes, yes. At that time, you just made her the happiest woman on earth. When you see her grab those bed sheets and arch her back and that mouth opens up and she starts, you know, calling out to the wild, you know she's having an orgasm. Now, guys, we need to repeat these pleasures with her every single night or every other night or go a few nights without and then let her come to you and say, I want some. I, I'm i feeling a, a horny. You know, remember, it's simple. She comes first before we do. No questions, no arguing, no nothing. She comes first. That's it. That's the law. Now, can you imagine... What all that coming and those wet multiple orgasms are going to do to your honey's psyche. Then, what about her heart and her body? And for that matter, her overall health and outlook on life. Wow, you've got one happy camper on your hands, let me tell you. She's now healthy, inside and out, and loves you for it. Do you realize the impact of her coming and reaching multiple orgasms time after time, night after night, year after year, has on her performance levels at work or in the home raising a family, looking after you, loving and living life happily ever after, (laughs) all because you obeyed the laws of the bedroom. You graciously, as a gentleman, in the bedroom and in her life, took the time every time to take care of her needs first. Pretty simple math. In my book, my friend. Now, with all this pleasing her, where do you come in? Well, imagine sharing an evening with a naked woman for two, three, four, maybe five hours, or all night long till morning, filled with hot, wet lovemaking and pleasing her in the way that she comes first. Guess what happens when you are done kind of pleasing her and she's all spent and just laying there all melted like chocolate in a midday sun. It's time for you to get yours. 
after you've spent those hours giving her what she needs, you know, as a woman. You simply need to ask her, Honey, did you come? Again. Oh, you did? Oh, that's so good. Hey, can I come now? Her reply is always, Oh, yes, I want you to come, baby. And you say, I'd really like to come this way. Can we do it this way? Her reply, Absolutely, anything you want. Yours, Thank you, darling. Good. Okay. All right. We're in position. All right. Here we go. You know, 10, 9, 8. You know, guys can flip their switch pretty quickly, you know. And then, without any guilt at all, after hours of pleasing your gal in ways she's only dreamt of, for the few minutes you need to fire off your rocket fuel inside her or on top of her anywhere, do just that. Get into her all for your pleasure and delight now. It's her turn to please you, and she's loving it. <sighs> Get all into her, and loving her at the height of one exhaustive evening surrounded by the naked flesh of your honey gal, her eyes, her lips, her breasts, her stomach, her hips, her cute little moist wet cherry box of sweet love, her juicy thighs, cute little feet, and toes to boot, take all of that in the entire night and let her come. Guys, it's now your turn to get some, and boy, do you ever get it. Mm, very cool. You know, by this time, hours later, you're both probably feeling a little spent, knowing you've pleased each other just to all heights of amazing ecstasy. <sighs> She's come, what, once, twice, three times, four times? And then now you've come, it's time to kiss each other goodnight and maybe fall asleep in each other's arms. Or rest up a bit, talk a little bit, and maybe do it all over again. You know, that almost dreamlike state when you make love in the twilight hours, you're half asleep, you're half awake. You know, yeah, sex tastes so good in those half-sleep states. I think that's called <laughs> loving her all night long and in the darkest part of the night. Either way, she loves you by now. She's come all night long. You've treated her first for what she wants and needs as a woman. With all the pressures that she goes through in her daily life, and wow, how can she not love you right back that much more in the way that you want, specifically and exactly how you want? That's cool. You see, you obeyed the law and took care of her first for hours. Then she took care of you, exactly the way you wanted. Rock on. How can it get any better than that? So, when it comes to sending your gal into tremendous heights of wet orgasmic bliss time after time, again and again, guys, just remember, one law, she comes first. For her pleasure and for yours immensely every time.